So, hello people, it's Metalhouse from psgdreams.net.com, netcom, the same domain, never mind, and I'll be teaching you how to render and render properly. So, by the way, it's a little spoiler from WrestleMania 25. So, let's choose our picture. I cho I've chosen this John Cena picture, as you see. By the way, uh, if you don't know how to download pictures from WWE.com, so I'll be I'll show you right right now. So let's go to our picture, and where the hell is it? Damn, I can't find it. Oh, where is our photo? Here it is. As you see, this our photo. So in the ad, you need in the do in the link you need to to write question mark view equals XML. You're going to here in Firefox. I uh, I installed the IE tab. You click in and it's uh, basically it's going to your your Internet Explorer, and now you need to find your photo. I remember it's this. You copy, paste, and here's the photo. Okay, so let's start. So here's my photo. I'm going copy. In uh, for Firefox, it's more easier because you you can do it like this: copy image or copy image location. So let's copy this image. Let's go to our Adobe Photoshop and use the Adobe Photoshop CS4. Accept, accept. Okay. <coughs> okay. So file new or simply Control N. Let's call it. As you want, I'm calling it Cena free, and OK. It's uh, with your width and height as your photo, because you already copied it, and it remembers, and it uh, remembers your basically size. So OK. Now I'm always doing a green screen, a green screen, and uh, also a black screen. I'll show you. Shift F5 or just edit fill. Background, okay. As you see, my background is green, simply green. In the ready, you need to write zero, zero, at 255. Okay. I'm going Ctrl Shift N. It's making you a new layer, or just click here. Again, Shift F5, foreground color, and it's our website background. It's 23, 23, 23, or 45, 45, 45, as you see, and OK. Ctrl V, or you can edit past, and go into your pen tool, or simply click P. Let's zoom. By the way, zooming and uh, unzooming. So, Ctrl plus, zooming in. Ctrl minus, zooming out. It's in your new uh, number keys. So let's zoom. By the way, space and left and mouse moving your picture. So let's start. You need to put dots and dots. I will show you how I'm rendering, but you can also do dot after dot. Let's see. I'm rendering like this. You put two dots in the middle when you see this plus or near the pen tool, clicking, and it's sending you another point, as you see, and you're just moving it a little, and that's all. But you can also do it in another way, you can put few dots, near by near by near, till you finish. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't love this uh, method, but you can use what you want, so zoom a little out, and I will render as I know. Okay, so as you see, I finished. 
I finished the next point. I've closed the the depth. So what you need to do? Let's. I need to do a little more work out on it. So basically, I'm finished. Okay, let's. Okay, so I'm done. By the way, Control and One on the NAM keys, it zooms in to the angel's original size. So what you need to do is right-click on your mouse. You're going to make selection. Fe feather you can choose or zero, or zero point one, or point two, or point three. Never mind, I'm using point two. Okay, now you can. And now you need to go Control plus Gel. Or you can simply go to selection, inverse, and delete it. But I'm always always using it like this. As you see, it cop it only copies your what is in your selection. Let's show you. Let's do a stupid selection. And let's press control. And let's press control gel, okay? So as you see, it only copies you what you selected. So never, never mind. Okay, control G is gonna select, and that's all. As you see, you finished. And here's your render. So let's save it, and that's all. So till next time, I'm Metarol from PSGDreams.net. Oh, by the way, for all the all what you need, go to http www.psdreams.net You're going to the gallery and it's basically the best PSD render site in the world as I know. <laughs> you, you have th these in here categories and simply renders and that's all and a lot more as you see his renders that I made so I finished the next time see ya guys oh yeah and I almost forgot to teach you how to save it so you're going to file save for web and devices going to PNG 24 and simply save it and it saves you it saves you transparent background and that's all so now really goodbye <laughs> so we're done